I was going to show you guys some stuff about what I've changed on the station wagon lately. The little, just the old daily driver wagon. Um, I put a, it's a Continental brand, and honestly, I don't know if it's a knockoff. It could be. I bought it from eBay. It was like $29, I think. And I brought, bought this uh, wiring pigtail, too. So this is on my return fuel line, because I was wanting to switch this over to flex fuel just for safety reasons. Um, but I really wasn't using all my injector, which are, these are decap, just standard, older style truck injectors. They're like 75 pounds when you decap them. And I was using about 75% of the injector, so I thought, well, I could switch to ethanol. It's cheaper than 93 octane. It's like $2 a gallon instead of like three thirty a gallon. So it would save me some on fuel, even though it burns a lot more of it. Um, about 40% more. Uh, if you're running, you know, E70 or E85, something like that. Anyway, so I bought this, $29. This was like, I think it was like $8. So it even says on there, it says voltage reference. So this goes, no, this is the voltage going out. So this goes to um, the flex fuel wire on the micro squirt. This just gets grounded. And then this goes to a key on power source, which I have a bunch of those because I cut up all my factory harness up. So that reads the return fuel coming out of the rails. And it it reads the ethanol content in the uh, in the computer, in the fuel. So um, I was going to show you guys one thing here before I show you more about the flex. I don't know how much you guys know about this, but after you do a data log, which all you have to do is go up here to data log and then you push start logging and then it'll drop down a box that allows you to name the file um, and you don't have to name it it'll just give it a timestamp if you don't uh, anyway that's how you data log and I go back and I look at my logs in mega log viewer and you can see here the uh, the white line see the white box is AFR air fuel ratio you can see that it was getting lean up for everything I've read, you want to be in the 11s, low 11s maybe on air fuel with ethanol on a gasoline wideband because it's it. You basically tune it like you're still on gasoline because uh, it's just reading unburnt oxygen. I believe is is what it reads or unburnt something. Uh, it's not reading really fuel, so you still tune the wideband for 14.7. And it'll actually be like 9.7 to 1, but your wide band will tell you it's 14.7. So you basically just tune it like as if it was on gasoline, as long as you have a gasoline wide band. So um, it's basically telling you, for, if it says 14.7, it just means that you're at 1.0 lambda, which is stoichiometric, which is I think 9.7 for E85. So that's what the air fuel really is, but your wide band is telling you it's 14.7. It's just telling you it's at lambda. 1.0 so um everything i've read you just tune it 14.7 on cruise and you tune it about like low 11s mid 11s on air fuel ratio so it was hitting it spiked up here at like 12.6 air fuel so it was getting too lean so i i went through and what i usually do is i find okay you can see the blue ones are ones that I've changed. I've added fuel. Blue means added fuel. Red means take it away. So at 5,000 RP, what I usually do is I look at the RPM, say it's 5,033. I go over here to my mega log viewer, and right right here is your RPM on mine at least. It, it could be anywhere, depending on what drop down to use. The white here is, so I find 5,000 RPM on my uh, data log. So 5,000. It was 12 to 1 air fuel. So what I do, the way I tune, is I'll go on my calculator and I'll do 12.0 12 divided by 11.0. And that'll tell me what percentage um, I need to change it. So that, I, I don't remember what it was, but say it told me that 12 divided by 11 is 1.10. So that'd be 10%. So I right click on on the cell i want to change which is the correct manifold air pressure and rpm point that i was at on that 
log and you can do scale by and then in here you would do 1.1 and it would scale it up 10 percent or if you did 0.9 it would scale it down 10 percent or you know 1.2 adds 20 percent you can also if you want to do it a different way you could do set key equal to which means whatever number you put in that box it changes that number to whatever you type in uh you can you can do so many you can just uh, there's so many drop down options here you can highlight a bunch and you can smooth them all out um there's a lot of different options but most of the time i do scale or set equals to that's what i usually do and i use math you know if it's 13 to 1 air fuel and i want it to be 10 to 1 air fuel which i wouldn't uh you just do 13 divided by 10 whatever number it gives you is how much percent you have to change it to make it correct air fuel so that's how i do it um but i was going to show you guys how you do the flex here um so once you hook your sensor up to the flex wire you go up to fuel settings uh, and it says fuel sensor settings and it has flex there so you click that and you just enable it because it'll be disabled probably you enable it and you tell it which wire to use which the only option you have with a micro is flex you go to flex and this has all the default settings for a gm flex fuel sensor in here so i did not put any of these numbers in except for i said i wanted to have seven more degrees of timing at 100 percent alcohol content so it's adding about five degrees right now across the board um, because ethanol requires more ignition timing uh, i'm adding five degrees across the board so i'm at like 18 19 degrees of timing at uh, full boost at the top of the rpm band and then uh you can change in here the fallback multiplier like say um say the flex fuel sensor lost power lost ground or the sensor quit working it would just fall back to adding 40 percent of fuel all across the board and i put it where it's uh not adding any timing if the flex fuel sensor is not working um so that's how you enable flex fuel and i can show you here we'll key the car on and because i changed those it should generate a difference report let's see it should generate a difference report sorry about the glare so this is a difference report and it's telling me that it used to have this much fuel and you can see the reds that means um that's what it used to have and then this is what i put in it so you can see the numbers are bigger in here than they are over there because i was a little lean because it's the first time i've ran the car on this much ethanol e75 or so right now so i tell it use tuner studio settings because that's what i just put in the tuner studio so now it's added fuel at the top of the rpm or at the uh top of the boost top of the rpm band because it was lean so i will start this thing up and it'll show you see this says ethanol percentage if my gauge is working right which i've had trouble with the power source so there you go see ethanol percentage is 74 percent it's adding 46 percent of fuel and uh it's adding five degrees of timing so that is how you set up flex fuel on a uh on a micro squirt or any any computer that's run on tuner studio any kind of mega squirt should be the same so um anyway there you go guys